Hi, I'm Willie. Welcome to my channel. Thank you for being here. I appreciate each and every one of you. If you need IT consulting, go to willyhow.com, fill out that contact form, and someone will be in touch with you as soon as possible. Don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe. What we're going to talk about today is manually um, deduplicating files on your Synology NAS. Now, it's pretty easy, pretty quick, and so let's hop right into it. So we're over here, we're on our uh, DS918, and we're gonna pull up the package manager, and we are gonna search for storage analyzer. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna install the storage analyzer package. While you're waiting for that, you can get yourself a nice uh, a beverage of your choice and uh, wait for that to download and install. All right, our storage analyzer is now installed. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna open that. And what we're gonna do is by default, Um, you may be prompted to run a report here. If you're not, we're going to create one. So we're going to hit create and we're going to call this uh, task name uh, dupes. And I'm not going to email it, but I am going to generate uh, the report daily at midnight. And that's totally fine. I'm going to set a max number of reports to keep as 30 because I'm going to manage this, you know, monthly. I'm going to click next there and what I'm going to do is I'm going to uncheck quota usage, uh, files by owner, volume usage, shared folders, and I'm going to just keep this potential duplicate files and I'm going to click next and I'm going to analyze all the existing and future folder shares and next I'm going to say find duplicate files while generating reports. I am not going to ignore file names and it says ignore modified time. You could keep that or, or leave it. Um, I'm going to uncheck it because I don't necessarily want to ignore that. I'm going to click next there and then I'm going to click this little box here that says generate reports now. So I'm going to hit done. It's going to save that and um, it is running right now as you can see. Down here it says running. So we're going to let that run and then we are going to uh, take a look at this report. So it says that it is um, successful. And so I just clicked on uh, that and you can see that it, it broke it down by share. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to hit duplicates. And now what it's going to do is it's going to show me what it believes is duplicates on the device. So now I can manually go through here and clean up all of the duplicates. So not only do I have the file name, I have the path, the size, the modified date, and I can click the delete over here. So you can see I've got quite a few, well, not as much as some other people have, but I've got 199 items to take a look at. And so you can see my upload folder has this React OS 0.4.10.iso, but that's also in my backup downloads. So, you know, taking a look at this will give us a good idea. And I am sure that you, if you have multiple people using uh, the NAS, if you've had it for a long time, you are going to um, have duplicates. So, not only does this work on DSM 7, it also works on DSM 6. So, no matter what your NAS is, you can do this. And I personally, in this situation at the file level, uh, I want to be in control of this deduplication process. Uh, there are other ways to do auto deduplication, and we're going to take a look at that in another video. But if you want to free up some space and you think that you've got some uh, duplicate files, you can see here I've got 199 items. You know, run the report, check it out, no harm, no foul. But that's it. And if you find duplicate files or you don't find duplicate files, give me a thumbs up on this video if you would. If uh, you want to support the channel by uh, using all of our affiliate links or becoming a patron on Patreon, those links are down below. 
Please follow me on Twitter, Instagram, and TikTok. Those links are down below. If you need IT consulting, reach out at willyhow.com, fill out the contact form, and someone will be in touch with you as soon as possible. Once again, I'm Willie. I want to thank you for being here. And as always, I'll see you in the next video.